While I was filming reviews of various flame effect LED bulbs, I got to wondering why some, like this light tone, have a very pixelated look, while others, like the Lifu here, have a more diffuse, realistic look. To find out, I removed their diffusers. And what I found is that in the good looking Lifu brand, there's a larger distance between the cylinder on which the light elements are mounted and the diffuser than there is in the poorer looking light tone where this distance is very small. I think what's happening is it takes a certain distance for the light to spread out so the diffuser can have more effect. Since we've got the covers off, let's go ahead and take these things apart and see what they look like inside. And here's what I found. The power comes in through the socket to a power supply that converts it to DC at a voltage uh, that the uh, LEDs can handle. Uh, the current is fed into a pair of timing chips which control how the lights flash. The lights are mounted on a thin flexible plastic sheet which is wrapped around a fairly heavy aluminum central cylinder. This is for uh, cooling. Each of the LEDs is very efficient, but they still produce some heat, and it's in a very small area. By wrapping them around the aluminum cylinder and using uh, thermally conductive tape, it spreads the heat out so no one LED gets too hot. The interesting thing is, after taking it all apart, you can turn it on and it still works. I hope you found this tour through the inner workings of Flame Effect LED bulbs interesting. And as always, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll stop by my main website at waynesthisandthat.com.